613 now today marks one year since Russia invaded Ukraine, launching the countries into war. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky tweeted this video just after midnight, marking the year since Russia's invasion of his country. And it's just one of the many reactions we're finding this morning on social media. You can see right here we've collected a whole board with a lot of them. This one right here from the Ukrainian defense, just look at what it says. One year of unprecedented resistance, but this one, one unbreakable year. And the more we look at the different tweets here that we're finding this morning, many of them very emotional, but you can really tell that this is a global response against Russia. Here's another one. It's a tweet from France, and you can see how the Eiffel Tower is lit up in the colors of blue and yellow, which are the colors of Ukraine's flag. So many people in central Ohio right now marking this milestone today, but families are still living in fear. So let's get to 10 TV's Amy Steigerwald. Amy, you're at the State House for us this morning because Ohio has really stepped up to help over this past year. Yeah, that's right, Angela. You know, we saw a lot of action in the initial days following that invasion just 365 days ago, both from local advocates here in central Ohio, but also from the governor's office as well. Uh, and that uh, relief, that uh, relief effort and help reaching out has continued in this past year as well. Most recently, we did learn about a factory over in Lima working on refurbishing tanks to send to Ukraine. We also know uh, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine signed an executive order in the days following the invasion, prohibiting the state of Ohio from investing, investment or purchasing activity aiding Russia. Now, here in central Ohio, the Ukrainian Cultural Association, they've been doing a lot over the past year, and they are hosting a rally at the State House tonight. Many have been working very hard, specifically when it comes to raising money to send medical supplies to direct doctors on the ground that they know of in Ukraine. These are life-saving items that are more easily sourced here and hard to come by now in Ukraine and, and Europe. So we send them there. And of course, that supplies becomes more important uh, as this uh, one-year mark gets further away from us. Tonight, again, that State House uh, rally is at 6 o'clock here. Everyone is invited to come out and show their support. Live in downtown Columbus, Amy Stegerwald for 10 TV News. And Amy, we know the president will gather with G7 leaders and President Zelensky today for a virtual meeting at 9. So more to come on that later today. Amy, thank you.